Hello everyone, my name is Anita Singh, your science teacher from Sri Rama Bharti Public School. Today, I will explain few topics from pressure. So let's start pressure. Now what is pressure? Pressure is the force which acts on a unit area of a surface. What is pressure? Pressure is the force acting on a unit area of a surface. Thus, the force and pressure both are closely interrelated. That's why, because what is the definition? The pressure is the force acting on an area of a surface. So that's why force and pressure are closely interrelated. So what will be the formula for pressure? Pressure will be equal to force upon area. Force upon area. The SI unit, the standard unit of pressure is Pascal, which we can write down as PA also. So a one Pascal is equal to one Newton per square meter. Because we know the unit, the SI unit of force is Newton and for area it is meter square, right? Or square meter. So that's why pressure can be written also uh, one Newton per meter square means one PA, one Pascal is equal to one Newton per meter square. Force is measured in Newton and area is measured in square meter. The greater the force, the greater will be the pressure. Very important points. The greater the force, the greater will be the pressure. If the area increases, then what will happen? The pressure will decreases. When the area increases, the pressure will decreases. That we will discuss later on. Now we can see the applications of pressure, means how they are used. Now it was necessary use sharp knives because why? We always use the knives which are having a sharp edge. Why? Because if a sharp edge is there means the surface area is very small. Then what will happen? It will apply a greater pressure. The applied force can create greater pressure. The same force will generate lesser pressure with a blunt edge. So it's, uh, it's very important when we cut anything. We always check whether the edge of the knife is sharp, or it is blunt because if it is sharp means it is having a small area and the applied force can create greater pressure. But if the edge of a knife is blunt, then means the surface area will increase. So what will happen? The force will generate lesser pressure. Now we will see in the school bags and the laptop bag, they're always having broad straps, right? Why? Because so that the weights of the object in them exert less pressure on the shoulder. Because if the uh, straps are broader, means the surface area, the contact area is bigger or larger. So it will exert lesser pressure on the shoulder. Needles and pins, we all know their nips are always pointed and very sharp. So that a small force is enough to pierce a cloth or cloth or a paper because they are, they are having a very sharp and pointed end. Sharp and pointed end means they are having a very small area of contact. That's why easily they can pierce any cloth or an, as well as a paper as the pressure exerted will be more. Now we have seen the dams, right? And the dams have a broad base. They have a broad base because at a greater depth, the water exerts a great pressure on the wall of the dam. So it's very important to withstand with the pressure of the water. Dams have a broad base to give its greater stability. Again, I want to repeat, dams have a broad base. Why? Because we know at the greater depth, the water exists more, exert more pressure on the wall. So that's why it's very important 
to withstand with this uh, pressure dams have a broad base to give its greater stability so this is all for today have a nice day